Uh, offense is uh, a lot ahead, a lot uh, way ahead of the defense right now today because they kicked their butt. Uh, great job running the football. I thought uh, 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 by the offense, I thought they dominated line of scrimmage. Obviously, you guys can tell we uh, didn't handle. We're only going to get so many snaps with our guys, and they didn't handle that thing yet. They were waiting to be done, and uh, we ain't good enough to do that. But we did get out. It really had, you know, possibly one injury, so we came out you know, pretty healthy. That's good. The field goal kicker, Zane Gonzalez, really, really looked great. Matt Hawk had a great day, had, had some big booming punts. Um, we, uh, uh, obviously, very, very explosive offensively, doing some great things. Got a chance to look at a whole bunch of kids. Everybody out here repped. I think we went around 100 plays. So uh, it, it was positive. Uh, too many penalties. We have, uh, I think, 11 penalties. Uh, one called back a touchdown, four offside, four defensive offsides, and just to give you an idea how bad that day that is, we had four defensive offsides the entire season last year. So uh, penalties, discipline, discipline, discipline. Uh, did not think that we uh, did very well. A um, lot of errors um, in the secondary that we haven't had. Our secondary did not play very good, and maybe it was because our guys on offense played really good. Lots of good things uh, uh, from the uh, – I thought the offensive line was a shining group of the, of the scrimmage. And uh, they, they flat got after it and dominated the, the line of scrimmage. So questions? Did your heart skip with me a little bit when DJ stay on the run? No, I didn't. I, uh, just think, they don't even do about that stuff. I mean, you got, you got to play. You got to scrimmage. You got to play. I mean, I think that, uh, uh, it, you know, he, uh, I mean, we tried to put a gold jersey on him, try to protect him. He doesn't want that, you know. And, uh, <laughs> I think it, sometimes I didn't get hurt doing that stuff. But he's fine. Uh, he just uh, he twists his ankle a little bit. He's, he's a tough kid in shape. So. But yes, I, I, I did not want him to get. I, I wanted to come out of here. My goal coming is I want to come out of this injury free. But here's the other thing too. We're not the defending Super Bowl champs, and that's kind of the way we acted. And I was very disappointed in that. We did not play very well defensively at all. Now when we were in there, we had, for instance, like. Uh, we had a critical error. It's uh, a third down and nine. We're supposed to peel the back. Junior don't peel the back. We get a horse collar, first down. That kills you, and then that, that results in seven points. So this stuff like that we can't have because, you know, we're not the defending champions. Uh, we're the contender. So that's the way we need to, that way we need to take it. But on the same hand, the other team puts their cleats on too, and, and uh, but I thought today was dominated by the offense. So today, how do you feel your receivers have grown? Do you feel like you're kind of close to knowing a rotation with them? Uh, no, I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, the, the five newcomers. Uh, Joe Morris has not started to practice. He's going to be a factor in, in, in the rotation. I think uh, obviously EJ Jefferson is going to be a guy that's not going to redshirt. It's going to play. Cameron Smith is going to play, not redshirt. Obviously, Jalen is going to be a, a big factor for us. Uh, Rick, I thought, had an unbelievable camp. Kevin is was very steady. So, uh, you know, uh, Ronald Lewis is coming on, getting better every day. So I think I don't think any of the I think all five of the newcomer receivers will play. And, and uh, I thought uh, uh, Rick and uh, Kevin has been steady. And then I thought Alonzo did some good things today. You know, Alonzo stepped up. So our receiving core is markably better. We had no holding penalties today on the perimeter. We had no holding penalties up front. So we, we you know, even though. You know, there was, you know, there's always a winner and a loser in the game, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I didn't like is we had four false starts. One illegal man downfield that cost us a touchdown. So there, other than that on offense, we're, we're, like I told you, we are going to score points if we don't have negative plays and we don't turn the football over, okay? And I do not think we turned the football over, did we? So oh, Burko lost. Yeah, that, that, that was the only one. So I thought we had a pretty good, and I thought the ball was pretty secure most of the day. So, uh, um, you know, uh, the, the only thing that disappointed me in the, in the game is obviously we only went about 20 plays with our five of our starters on defense only played about uh, 20 plays. 24 beer board didn't play any. Uh, so we're just being cautious with, with that. But you got to be able to handle that, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't know that we handled it that well. And then I don't. Our depth sure didn't didn't match up very good against our one offense, but our offense is also good. So, I, you know, we, we got we, we're right where we need to be. We got to go to work. We got a lot of work to do in the next five practices to get ready, and then we start uh, game week uh, 
uh, here on uh, maybe next uh, Friday. We talk about receivers. Uh, Demario Nelson had uh, two receiving touchdowns. Really had a steady camp. Or... Yep. Yeah, and some of that, you know, we, we're blowing. There's blown coverages and things like that on that. And they got that kind of a special play they're running. That, you know, we don't need game planning and stuff like that. Uh, uh, but you know how those offensive coordinators are. They do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> they're smart. But, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, he looked pretty smart there. Uh, he caught. The, I think they got three touchdowns in the same play like that. And that's an FSL play, and our guys are. We, we got uh, young guys in there making mistakes there. He should be running free. Demore Nelson is going to be a stud, no doubt about it. You, we got Chris Coy, you got Demore, you got uh, DJ Foster, who is going to be you know, a lot more dynamic than he was last year. Uh, you know, Jalen, uh, Rick, I mean, we've got a lot of weapons on offense, but the, the, the all-star of today is that offensive line. They did a heck of a job, and, and that's the key to make it all work, and then uh, I thought Taylor was very, very efficient. Uh, I don't know yet. I'd uh, probably be out for a little bit. How about that? That's about the best I can do. <laughs> Overall, how did you accomplish Yeah, we had a great camp kind of so, I mean, I just I, I love coming up here. Um, Mike Haynes and his leadership group and how we grew as a team and built relationships up here. Uh, uh, what I, I you'll, you'll find, if you come listen to me talk to our team, every time we leave Camp Connors on, I'm going to be getting after them. Because, it, you know, I'm always wanting them to be straining to get better. But this was a great camp, great place. I mean, it was done. Couldn't, I wish we could report here and, and be here for it because it really is tremendous in how we can bring the team together. These guys really care about each other. We've got some guys, 15 guys in this team that have stepped up to be leaders. And, uh, got everything accomplished we wanted to get accomplished. We only went one day's way. We haven't been to two yet. And, uh, you know, and we'll see how all that works. But uh, uh, we'll have a couple of them here this next week. But uh, I got everything accomplished. Love the people up here. It's a great thing. Coming out here and seeing all these fans is, is awesome. It makes, uh, makes it a special day. I thought I thought our guys put on a good show for you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.